winning. Peace up, baby. What's up with it? What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. As you can see here, right in front of your face, at the bottom of the screen today, that's right, your boy, RD Rizzle, is doing, for the first time ever, a breakfast taco mukbang. Pretty much a breakfast mukbang, but breakfast tacos. Um, I've been craving breakfast tacos for a good grip, especially this morning. Yesterday, your boy got off of work. I was exhausted, tired out of my mind. I pretty much slept like a whole day, Cutty. Your boy was on hibernation mode. <laughs> uh, and I had woke up early this morning. Like, I'm talking about yesterday afternoon. Woke up again uh, sometime around 9 and said, forget it. I'm going to just sleep the whole Saturday away. Woke up at 6 this morning. I had a craving for breakfast tacos. So that's what we got here today. Got some chorizo tacos over here. I hit up two of my favorite breakfast places that got breakfast tacos. Because sometimes breakfast uh, places... They do tacos, they either do one thing right and the other they don't do right. So I went and got my favorite bacon tacos over here and then I got my favorite chorizo tacos over here. So that's what we got here going today. If this is your first time coming to RDR Food Reviews, I'm your host Roberto Del Rio and this is RDR Food Reviews. I not only do food reviews, I do story time videos, mukbangs, challenge videos, uh, vlog videos, the work ski. So if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Make sure that notification bell so you can get the latest, greatest art of your food reviews. And yes, Cuddy, as you can see right here to my left, your boy has joined the coldest water team. That's right. Your boy RD Rizzle, of course, thanks to you guys, you know, RDR Mafia. Put your boy in position, and now I'm over here representing the coldest water brand to the fullest. Uh, the coldest water, if you don't know what it is, it's a high quality vacuum seal water bottle that will have your coldest drinks frozen on freeze all the way up to almost 36 hours cutty for shizzle i'm telling you and it's hot out here it's june uh, a lot of people going to the beaches camping doing all that stuff you definitely want to have a hot quality uh water bottle on your side especially if it goes up to 36 hours you're going to need this apart and this right here the coldest water is like the michael jordan the lebron james of water bottles, you know what I'm talking about? And they're always doing giveaways. Uh, so at the bottom, you will see the link to the giveaway. They're giving away, I believe right now, they're giving away, uh, they're doing a giveaway for a one gallon vacuum sealed water bottle. So you need to get in where you fit in, Cuddy, real quick, because they're always doing giveaways and you want to get one of these gallon big boys right here, I'm telling you. This right here is legit. And also, Right underneath it, Cuddy, won't you find, well, this is what you have to do, Cuddy. If you put it in the promotion code, REFRESHING, that's right, you'll get 10% off on your purchase. So that's right. So every time you see your boy Artie Rizzle does his refreshing moment in the video, think about the 10% that you're going to get off on a purchase of the coldest water. So make sure you go to the coldest water today. And go purchase one of these water bottles because you know your boy is stamping and proving. I wouldn't be down if it wasn't legit. You know what I'm talking about? So, yes, go ahead. Check out the coldest water today. And make sure that you get put in that promotion code to get that 10% off. You know what I'm talking about? So, basically, that's kind of like your, your shipping right there. So, yes, I'm with the coldest water. Let's get it in. You know what I'm talking about? Let's go ahead and get a quick moment of prayer. By the breast of this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish your body and make me strong as a person, strong as a man. And bless those that grow hungry as I pray to. Please find them some in your holy gracious. In my name we pray. Amen. Love you, Father. All right, now, so we got the prayer the way. Let's try to see if we can get a quick thumbnail in. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Winning. God. Let's see if we can uh, find a slutty thumbnail somewhere in between here and there. So, <laughs> Cuddy, like I said, your boy Rizzle was exhausted yesterday. I mean, I feel like I, feel like I was in like a time capsule of sleep it felt so good too man ain't nothing like getting the best sleep in the world you wake up and you're just like man is this this is like the closest thing to death <laughs> delicious mm. man hold up you know one thing that grinded my gears today very early When I went to get these bacon tacos, these niggas talking about they ain't got no avocado. Uh -huh. To little Mexico, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> early in the morning, you ain't got 
want no damn avocados for no breakfast tacos. You're a liar. Your treachery has been noted. Severely. Talking about you ain't got no damn avocados, Cuddy. Talking about. Go sell some medicine. You want some advice? Mm. Take your fancy clothes and your black silk underwear and go back to Disneyland. Cuddy. I seen this crazy video. This crazy video <laughs> of this Caucasian girl. I believe her name was Karen. Her and her daddy was having an argument. <laughs> her daddy is over here on some on some disagreement stuff, you know what I'm saying? And really you can tell he was low-key mad because his daughter was schooling schooling him on why, you know why there's protests going on and this and this going on in the world right now and making him <laughs> making him look like a damn fool this is like a prime example of parents just don't understand Cuddy here check out this video no shut up no can you shut your mouth for a minute no because I actually work in the ghetto I see the people do you know why I they're in that position I see these people do you understand the systematic and historical reason for why they're in that position they don't care all they want to do is be ghetto. No! Yes, there's no. some that don't. There's good people. No! Most of them just want to suck off the system or do something bad like drugs or gangs. And that's all they do. They have about. been oppressed. They have not been given the same opportunities chances. you have yes, had. They do, and there's plenty of black people. No, they don't, there's plenty Dad. Of, there's plenty of money and you not money. recognizing that as an issue is the reason why it's still continuing today. I see them all over. There's all kinds of successful people that are of color. It doesn't matter what color, brown, white. But it's a lot harder yellow. for them to get to that it position. It doesn't matter. When they do, they're fine. But there's always filthy animals. And that you're, calling, you're calling people of color... Black no. animals. You're calling them animals. I'm talking, you didn't Are you finish. kidding me? You didn't let me that, that's not okay. No, no matter what, that's not okay. No matter what, it's it not okay. okay. Racism is not okay. Why do you think that racism is okay? I found this. All right, it's like, oh, that's mine. Really, I'm gonna look at. No, I'm looking at oh, statistics. Right your statistics can't. They can be warped. Statistics can be warped. You want to show? You want me to show you videos? So why are my do you want me to show you videos of cops? Why is why I are will my do it. Statistics wrong because they can be right. warped. I'm not giving statistics right now. They can be warped. Personal experiences can't. No, because this is actually putting it into play. When you, do I need to show you a bunch of videos of cops attacking protesters, peaceful protesters? Listen, listen to this. This is the number. You mean I'm informed and educated? You're not, though. You're yes, I am. You're one-sided informed. Mom, I was watching political stuff, and you said to turn that off because you don't want to hear about it. Because that means I am educated on it, and you are not. It. I'm sick of hearing it. The fact that you can have that ignorance, really, ignorance for the majority is bliss. Okay. So ignorance for the minority so I'm is looking at statistics destruction. That are wrong. <laughs> nigga! <laughs> she served that nigga. Perfect. And her mama caused some of that static too. You can kind of tell that her mama was just like. Oh, it's just too much going on, and I just don't want to hear it, Karen. Just shut your mouth. <laughs> but she put her daddy on notice, boy. And low-key, her daddy is like the typical standard dude that, you know what I'm saying, he like the typical type of nigga that just, um, he think he got it all figured out. Well, I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. And talking about calling <laughs> this thing was over here calling uh talking about calling niggas animals and stuff like that boy oh Basket. man you lucky your identity ain't been exposed cut it because out in these streets boy you gonna get dead like hawkeye <laughs> <laughs> talking that crazy stuff you gonna get opportunities and all they do is squat them away and put them in the room that stuff was so funny. And let me tell y'all something, um, Karen's parents. Sugar got her mind made up. You know what I'm saying? She's she the smart one actually in the family. So don't be surprised in the future. <laughs> 
your son-in-law is gonna be African American. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry, but tonight, Daryl's in the closet. <laughs> Because the black delegation has definitely, <laughs> definitely adopted Karen to the family. She's invited to all the picnics, all the family reunions. You loyal. I'm probably gonna be guest speaker at Juneteenth weekend. What's that on that be? Ho? Like, what is Juneteenth? What's Juneteenth? If you didn't get that invitation, Cuddy. You ain't going. <laughs> 21. Mmm. We shall talk about hitting, Cuddy. Gotta hold your boy on this one. Let me have to catch up with them boys. Anyway. Oh, man. This next story I'm about to tell you, it's kind of low-key sad. <laughs> but... Okay, so this happened in Bolivia, Cuddy. In Bolivia, these three Bolivian boys, things like 8, 10, and 12, Cuddy, they like Spider-Man, right? They like the movie Spider-Man and stuff. So, <clears throat> they are, what happened was, <clears throat> oh man, that spice. Oh, Cuddy, for real. Double refreshing. Cut it. That sauce is kicking like Van Damme. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, these Bolivian boys, they were they like big sp uh, fans of Spider-Man. And what happened was, they had this belief that if they let a black widow spider bite them, big dummy, Wipe them on the hand that them niggas was gonna turn. <laughs> they thought they was gonna turn into Spider Man. <laughs> oh, hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. I know, they're like, that's really not funny, but damn, when you like, damn, nigga, what are you doing? <laughs> but those are babies, they don't know no better. I'm 10 years old, but I'll beat your ass. But there should have been one nigga in that group with the common sense to be like, nigga, this is not right. Uh, niggas was out here hunting for black widow spiders, found one, let the little nigga bite them on the hand, <laughs> which like black widow venom cutting is like 15, is like is about as strong as getting bit by a venomous snake is like 15 times strong. And cutting, all them niggas got sick. So they all got rushed to the hospital. And they all survived, but like, damn it, boy. Tasty. Come on, Cuddy. Now you should have known better. These niggas almost risked their life to turn to Spider Man. <laughs> Well, this next story, Cuddy, it's kind of like, man, what is going on here? On some real spit, Cuddy. So, apparently, the Water Brothers has come to the decision that they are going to eliminate pretty much any history of Elmer Fudd having they pretty much taken away the rifle of Elber Fudd in every in everything that he had. They pretty much taken away this dude's whole image. And you may be young, so if you don't know who Elmer Fudd is or Looney Tune or whatever, cut it. That's like his like signature right there. So they own some stuff where now they're just like, you know what, Elmer Fudd is not gonna have a rifle and no cartoons, period. You are one pathetic loser. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> Cuddy, it's a 
cartoon, nigga. Get over here. And not just any cartoon, Cuddy. You talking about Looney Tunes, nigga. This ain't Family Guy. <laughs> this ain't Family Guy, Cuddy. These niggas ain't over here doing no weird stuff. These are monumental cartoons, Cuddy. Elmer Fudd, everybody know him. And like somebody was saying, Cuddy, that's like taking spinach away from Papa. Bastard. Why are you doing that? So now you're gonna have this fool out here looking crazy in this street. Huh, what it? And plus, let's just be honest. In a lot of Looney Tunes, they had a whole bunch of crazy ass weapons and stuff. It's anthrax, babe. You might as well take away TNT and all the bombs that Wally Cody had. <laughs> Trying to get that little stinky ass Roadrunner. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you come to the point, it's like, man, it don't start getting ridiculous, bro. It ain't like this nigga Elmer Fudd ever killed anybody. That nigga ain't never killed nobody. He just had a pistol on him the whole time. Maybach music. What can you say, man? The world has gone slap ass crazy. I don't even watch the cartoon no more. It was police brutality every single day. <laughs> now they're taking away a nigga's childhood. Bastard! You know, sometimes places I'd be like, the other side probably gotta be somewhat, it got, it, the other side gotta be much better than this. I don't wonder why everybody leaving. Like, I'm talking about people passing away and going away to glory and stuff like that. Cause the other side of the game is starting to get much cooler than it is on this side of the pillow. Real spit. So, on some real shrug stuff cutting, it's time to get stuff together. For real. Cause this this side, 2020 has probably been the worst year of years, period. You know what I'm saying? And it's and then we still got six more months to go. Let's go ahead and close this bad boy out. <laughs> Ultra refreshing. Okay, that everybody okay, is my okay, breakfast taco. Okay. Breakfast mukbang. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy RDR, and like I always say, man, hey, look, food is a gift. So please give thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you don't like this video, you really don't like my content, go on and hit it with a thumbs down. It don't matter. I'm gonna love you like I always have. It's your boy RDR. I'm signing up out of here. God bless y'all. Take care. Already. I love you guys, and I'm gonna see y'all soon. God bless y'all. Excuse me. And good night. <laughs>